go with y'all, man. Jay Ben's a light. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the truth. Now, this is the truth about myself that I wanna share with all of you, what I wanna share with the world, that I wanna, this is energy I wanna release that I feel, that I feel called to release. Freaking, I got a blanket on me. You know what I'm saying? Cause I live in New York and it's starting to get cold and cold again. It's like 60 degrees out here, but I'm a, I'm a tropical type of guy. You feel me? Like I'm not, I'm not with the cold. I'm not with the cold weather. I live in New York all my life though. So I'm used to the cold, but it's like, still, I'm used to it, but that don't mean it for me. But anyways, there's some energy within myself that I feel called to release. And that I also feel called to talk about because I feel that there's a lot of people out there who also is like me and also have this energy within themselves that they probably been wanting to release you know or or been having thoughts of releasing and just never just never did you know what i'm saying that's the thing about about life about the world is that things are in cycles you know things go out you breathe in and then you breathe out you breathe in and you breathe out and it's a constant cycle just like that but let's get right into the video. Let's get into the main topic. Now, I'm officially in my life and I'm officially quitting weed. I'm not gonna be smoking no weed no more, right? And I feel called to do this. I'm gonna talk about why I feel called to do this. I'm gonna talk about why I also feel called to share this with, with, with all, of you, all of you guys, the entire world, with everybody. Um, and I just a whole, and there's a whole, my whole background about it, right? Now, when it comes to weed, I don't actually have a big problem with weed, you know? I actually think weed can be very beneficial in one's life, you know? When used for the right reasons, and also if you're smoking actual weed, you know, and not the GMO weed stuff like that i think we can be very beneficial in one's life but the thing is that for me personally and i also feel that this is many of you could probably relate is that me personally i find myself overindulging in smoking weed overindulging in smoking weed to the point where i'm spending so much money buying weed i'm i'm looking back and i see i'm spending like Bro, I'm spending like a hundred dollars like a week, like a hundred a week or some shit like that on on weed. Like a hundred a week, something like that on weed. And weed is an expensive habit, you feel me? And not only that, not only am I not only do I find myself blowing money unnecessarily on weed and just continuing to to do that over and over and over again but i also found myself just also i find myself that when i do smoke it's actually it's not really doing much good for me you know before when i when i started smoking before when i used to smoke in the past i would smoke for recreational purposes i would smoke just for fun i would smoke uh with friends and shit like that you know i would never really smoke by myself and all that and it was really just a thing for fun but after i had a spiritual awakening i started to i started to smoke by myself you know i started smoking a lot more by myself and and less for other less for other people and more by myself and i found that through smoking weed i can't i had a lot of i was faced with myself i was faced with with um all my people out there who's weed smokers, y'all stoners, y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm smoking and I'm getting all these different thoughts, all these different downloads and whatnot from from smoking the plant, you know? And it's positive thoughts, it's negative thoughts, it's deep thoughts, it's all types of thoughts, you know? 
and and I looked at this as a good thing. I'm saying I'm like, all right, this is cool. This is cool, you know. Like I getting spiritual downloads is helping me along my spiritual journey. I'm I journal stuff that I that I uh, 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 experiences and thoughts I have from smoking weed and stuff and all that. But then it came to a point where where uh, I was smoking with no intentions of smoking. You know, I was smoking. I mean, I was smoking with no intentions going into going into the session going into it and going into the ritual because when you do smoke that is like a ritual you know as a the weed the plant is a it's a spiritual it's a spiritual herb the plant itself is alive you know when you smoke that plant when you smoke that plant you're bringing that plant into you you're turning that plant into smoke you're simply transforming that plant into a form that that can be broken down and absorbed by you you know, and when I was bringing that plant, I, I found myself making it a habit of just smoking weed instead of actually like, God damn. I found myself making it a habit of smoking weed instead of actually using it for spiritual growth and using it for the purposes which I intended to, to truly use it for, you know, after I had my spiritual awakening. And it came to a point where I was overindulging so much so to a point where I started smoking like every day and shit. I started just like, like I would smoke and then I would just be lazy as hell. I would smoke and be lazy as hell. Like I would, I wouldn't want to do nothing. I'd be procrastinating. I'll have stuff to do. I'll have stuff to do, stuff that is important to me to do, or just stuff in general to do. And instead of doing that, I would just, I would just do something else that was, that was more, more fun or, or uh, more comfortable for me to do in the moment. You know, while I was high. Something else that I found also from smoking weed, um, from overindulging in it so much, is that it started to not make me high. It started to make me feel low, you know. And I believe that that's probably because of the weed that I was that I was smoking specifically. I believe maybe it was because of the the because I was smoking. I wasn't smoking right the right weed or the right vibration of weed, the right strain. Uh, you know, I wasn't doing. I wasn't doing that. I wasn't smoking to, I wasn't smoking the right shit, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't, uh, uh, I'm not smoking the organic weed possibly, possibly. And I know for a fact I wasn't smoking organic weed. I wasn't smoking the actual weed that grows from the, from the earth, from the earth in a nat, in a natural, in a natural way that it's supposed to grow. I'm smoking weed that's GMO. Shit that's grown in the lab with some ultraviolet UV lights on it and, and uh, all this other shit. You feel me? Not the right, not the right stuff that you should be smoking. Smoking weed out of the dispensary, which is poison. You know. So I found myself constantly. I found myself eventually feeling low from smoking weed. You know, to the point where I'm hot and and like I'm forgetting shit. I'm becoming forgetful. I'm freaking. I'm freaking like I'm just lethargic. I'm not. I don't feel like doing nothing. And then next, and then also on top of that, I'm getting. I be getting weed hangovers too. I wake up and I and I wake up feeling groggy and whatnot from smoking weed the previous night, the previous day, or like I wake up just feeling lethargic still, just feeling, just feeling just like not, just my energy like my energy wasn't right, you know. And the thing is about it is like I'm a very energetic individual. I'm a I'm a person who's very energetic, brings energy to whatever I do. You feel me? And me overindulging and smoking weed, it was, I found that it was taking, it was taking energy from me, in a way, you feel me? It was taking energy from me. And that's just not the way. That's not the way, that's not it. And I knew, and I, the thing is, is that I knew that, that it was becoming a problem from a long time ago, from a long while ago. But I never, I never decided to, to truly stop because because I was still I was still just enjoying it. I was just like I was I was just making all types of excuses to myself and whatnot, you know? Because weed is something that I genuinely enjoy smoking, you know, and um weed is something that that it's a spiritual herb that I find if you do it for the right reasons that it, it could it could be very beneficial. 
but the way that I was doing it was not was not being beneficial to me. As a matter of fact, how I was treating the herb was 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 what's the word I'm looking for? How I was treating the herb was, I guess, in a way, it was detrimental to me more more so than beneficial. You know, I was disrespecting the herb by by just going in and smoking it with no true intentions no good intentions and in smoking you know and just taking the herb and, and smoking it just to get the feeling or get the or get a certain get a get to a certain feeling or a certain mood a certain way of being a certain state instead of actually having intentions for it and whatnot and and and, and treating treating the herb with respect you know so Yeah, so I'm giving up. I'm not smoking no more weed. I, and I make and I'm making this video to share with y'all, not only to release this energy from within myself, you know, and hold myself, hold myself accountable through making this video, and also, also for, for having the having the focus, knowing that I have this video out there to so for all my people out there, also holding me accountable as well because. The reason I started this channel, the reason I'm posting these videos with spiritual fits and my perspective and whatnot is because it's because I genuinely want to help people. I genuinely, I genuinely want to share my spiritual journey with others, share the thoughts that I have with others, share my perspective and whatnot, you know, share the share the things that I do in my life. You feel me? Because, because I understand many different things that are that go on in this world. I understand many different things that go on, not only in this world, but also in the spiritual world, in the world of the mental, in the world of the mind of many people, in the world in, in my own in my own world, which is my own mind. You know? And I understand that there's many of you out there who might see my video might see either this video or might see some other videos that I make it. It might give you some type of motivation or inspiration to to maybe start your own spiritual journey if you if you haven't already or or to inspire you to to be better for yourself or be better for the people that are around you. Be better for the world around you, the environment and whatnot. Um, to connect to nature, all these different things. Just or just motivate and inspire you to be better person a healthier person and a healthier person in, gen in general you know but the thing is about when it comes to this, when it comes to this weed thing i don't i'm not an unhealthy person i'm a very healthy person i'm vegan i don't eat meat you feel me i work out i'm working out i'm in the gym every day i'm working out every day you feel me i'm in nature every day in nature right now i got my feet in the dirt and all that you feel me like I take care of myself. I take very good care of myself. But the only thing is that in taking good care of myself and, and being in meditation and being conscious of myself, I also understand that 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 uh there are things that could there are things that there are things I I know how to identify the weeds apart from the good fruit, you know? I believe in the Bible there was Jesus said something about when a man were to it was a parable of when a man were to sow so we when an enemy were to come and sow weeds in in uh in uh in your farm with the good with the good um with the good vegetation and whatnot then when you in like Say you say you planted your you planted your seeds your good seeds and then and then the enemy came and planted weeds, you know. Jesus said it was, it was. And mind you, when I speak about Jesus, I know that Jesus never existed. I know that this is just a character in a book. I know that it is all within. All this shit comes from within. You feel me? Everything comes from within. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't attach myself to any any of these any of these concepts, any of these labels and whatnot, none of that. So he said in the book that 
that when this happens, don't just go and take out the weeds on a uh, immediately. Let the let the good let the good fruit let the good veg vegetation grow. Let the weeds grow next to it. But then when it's time for harvest, you take the good you take the good vegetation. But then you also take the weeds. You take the good vegetation. You put that into wherever you need to put that, and then you you go and you burn the weeds and you throw all, you throw all that out. So in a way, I feel like that that's what I'm doing, literally, with the weed. <laughs> that what I'm doing is I'm identifying in my own in my own mind I'm identifying what the weeds are from the good vegetation and I'm identifying that me overindulging in smoking weed and whatnot is taking taking more from me and is and is and is a is more of a is, is a detriment to me and has been a detriment to me in my own personal life you know so I'm removing the weed literally and when I when I when I do this, I don't. I'm not going to not smoke weed ever again, you know. But I am going to take a very long hiatus from smoking weed. This is going to be a journey that I will be sharing with you, with, with you all as well as well as many other journeys that I have. You feel me? So, all my people out there who can relate. I hope that this video gave you some insight or gave you possibly some motivation to to cut out. Maybe it, it, it might not be weed specifically. Got some shit in my eye, bro. It might not be weed specifically. It might be it might be something else in your life that is something else in your life that is taking more from you than is given to you. It might be something else in your life that is distracting you. You know, there might be something else in your life that that isn't isn't really serving you in the way that you want to be served i mean so i make this video for y'all so this is my day one not smoking no weed going back to my natural normal state my natural normal state of being my natural normal state of mind all of that and i hope you all can do the same for any any of the weeds that are in your life you feel me and on that note Jay Ben's the light. I'm out.